All right, welcome back, everyone. So I always start with SAUSD, which is good. Now, I hope you guys can remember this analysis on SAUSD that I posted last week. Remember, I told you guys price will come for this buy side liquidity because price was somewhere here as at last week, okay? So this was last week candle. This is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now, you see how we ended up the week seeking this buy side liquidity. And at this moment, gold is at all-time high, bullish, 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 bullish. Now, the question is, how do you engage gold this coming week? Because obviously, we have price have expanded to the upside. So the question is, how do you engage? And what, and what phase of the market is price actually going into? So that is the purpose of this video. You watch it very, very well. I'm going to analyze gold. I'm going to analyze DSY. I'm going to analyze Euro USD. I'm going to analyze GPUSD, SAUSD. I'm going to analyze NAS 100, US 30, US 500. So you stay with me while I show you guys what you should be expecting on price action this week. Now, since gold has expanded to the upside, this is what we call expansion phase. So this is expansion phase. You know, market price action move phase by phase from expansion to consolidation or from expansion to retracement, from retracement to expansion or from expansion or retracement to consolidation. That's how price action delivers. Now we are at the expansion phase of the market. Okay. Now what some majority of the people will be expecting is in as much price has pushed to the upside, creating this all-time high, you know, expansion phase expansion phase of the market so a lot of people will be expecting gold to dip down to the downside okay so they're going to look for a certain opportunity to create that set side uh, uh, retracement before they can start buying to the upside you don't trade like that guys we are algorithm traders we are ict traders we don't trade like retail traders okay because this is what majority of retail traders are expecting right now so go to pull to the downside and then maybe to this level gap or to this level gap and then keep pushing to the upside. It's not like that, guys. It's not like that. That's not how price work. Okay. So remember, we trade interval by interval. Okay. So what that actually means is that after this expansion to the upside, after this pull to the upside, okay, what we need is a smart money reversal. Now, smart money reversal is very simple. We need price to close below the previous candles open. Okay. So this, this may be a smart money reversal if you see that on Monday price action. That is obviously... A smart money reversal. If we see this kind of price action on Monday, this is going to be a smart money reversal. Okay. Now you don't just come and be aiming it or be anticipating it. For example, some people will come into this market and then looking for how to sell on Monday or Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't do that. So in as much we are still bullish on this price action because you guys know I'm always on daily time frame. Okay. Because everything I need is on daily time frame. Monthly price action is on daily time frame. Weekly price action is on daily time frame. So I don't switch daily time frame. So at this point now, I'm not going to look for any certain opportunity. Rather, I will look for more buying opportunity until I see that smart money reversal. In other words, so why people are looking for how to force this sell to the downside, me, I'm looking for more buy to the upside. Meaning on Monday price action, I'm looking for buy on gold to take out this buy side liquidity. On Tuesday price action, I'm looking for buying opportunity on SAUSD until there be that smart money reversal. Now, smart money reversal is a broad topic which I cannot discuss on this weekly analysis. I've done a video on that on Smart Money Reversal. You can go scroll to my YouTube videos for Smart Money Reversal, okay? But at this point, I'm looking for only buying opportunity because I love to trade continuation pattern very well, not just try my luck on Smart Money Reversal. So with this bullish momentum on SAUSD, you guys can see we have been bullish, 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 bullish on SAUSD. You know what that actually signifies is that dollar index is dead right now, okay? Because I saw someone trying to aim for a buying opportunity on dollar index. So this is what will lead me to analysis on, on dollar index. Then I will move to euro US dollar. Now I saw someone post uh, something online that dollar index, of course, dollar index is DSY. Dollar index is going to start buying from this level. Okay. There's a, I think there's a support level here. Okay. That dollar index will start buying from here. Okay. To the upside. Because, you know, a lot of people think this price action is by pattern or by fancy how this thing looks like you know this thing looks so sexy that for price you know price has been coving 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 so it will look very very clean very very nice for price to keep pushing to the upside you don't do that guys you don't do that so i put something on twitter where well, dollar index was somewhere around here i think somewhere around here i said at this point because i saw that momentum on bitcoin when I saw that bullish momentum on Bitcoin, I knew dollar index is dead. So at this point, we are selling dollar index more and more and more and more. So that buying mentality you guys have in mind, please, please discard it. So why people are looking for buying opportunity, like that price action I showed you guys on four hour time frame, okay? 
you guys should also be look you guys should be looking for selling opportunity to more so we are every fair look up on this impulse swing be marking off of a look up okay there's a favor look up here mark it out okay the favor look up there mark it out all right there's a favor look up here mark it out okay so every favor look up is opportunity for us to engage on the sell side you guys can see it downside all right the price i see this level look up all right if price i see this level look up and trade into this level look up you look for a certain opportunity to stay okay nothing should make us change our mind to start buying at this moment because right now from the economy perspective from fundamental perspective dollar index should be trading to the downside so it's not just about um technical analysis or pattern you see on the chart you have to see balance it with the economy and fundamental analysis dollar index will go to the downside dollar index will go to the downside this week so we are not done with the sell side i told you guys this is the perfect opportunity for us to go from this point to stake out this sell side liquidity which you guys saw on all price action this week okay so next week we are going for this I say next week, this week, I mean, I'm recording this on Sunday. So this week, we are going for this SSI liquidity, probably trade into this level look up, all right? Possibly take out this SSI liquidity completely. This is the valor target, you guys know. This low that was created from the beginning of the year, okay? Oh, no, 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 from December last year. So this is the valor target. We'll come back to take out this low, and then price will keep pushing to the downside on dollar in the, on daily time frame, and then they see another level of liquidity here. So price action is driven by liquidity. So what that actually means is that look for your entry on PDRAs, like favor lookup, other block, then your target is liquidity. Now, first target on, on is this size liquidity here to trade into this favor lookup, okay? Now, at this point, a lot of, uh, this is a very, 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 very critical level here because at this point, there's going to definitely going to be a reaction. This place, we are going to see some, uh, we, are, we are definitely going to see a bullish candle here, okay? So, what I'm trying to say is that on Monday, guys, on Monday, dollar index will trade lower, okay? Dollar index will trade lower. G Euro US GPS will trade higher. Then probably on Tuesday, you are going to see something like a smart money reversal, just minor smart money reversal. It depends. I don't know of the economic calendar of this week. I don't know. May, probably may have. It depends on the economic calendar this week. So if this level of liquidity got taken out, we are going to see something like this bullish candles here like for example this bear side you can see these bullish candles or something like that so we may see something like a bullish candle here like a reaction from this point of uh interest this is favor look at point of interest so it's not going to be says selling candle selling candle selling candle to the downside remember your entry is lower usually one hour time frame or 30 minutes time frame so every fair value gap is a point of interest. Then every buy side, sell side liquidity. Every high or low is a buy side, sell side liquidity. If we go to daily time frame also on Euro US dollar, you see the same footprint there on Euro US dollar. Okay. So you can see my level of liquidity last week was this was this first one. Okay. Price took out this first best one. Then if you watch this level, is still very, very much clean. Price has not taken it. I identified it last week for you guys. So we are going to see price trade into this place probably on Monday or Tuesday. Then after that, we'll have a reversal, something like this. It's possible. But if there's great momentum in the market, then price will not react from this point of interest. Okay? Price will not react. But if there's strong momentum, price will keep pushing to the upside, pushing to the upside to take out this buy side liquidity on Euro USD. Same thing for GBP USD because I'm still on, do on daily time frame. On GBP US dollar, okay. So what we have on GBP USD, you can see GBP USD is a very very critical case because all this buy side liquidity shaded here, price has taken all of them out, okay. Now what we need now is more push to take out this buy side liquidity here. Now how do we get to this buy side liquidity? Remember, every favor lookup is your point of interest on lower time frame, okay. So we wait for price to get to the favor lookup. Then we we'll launch our bullet on lower time frame. For example, this is potential point of interest for push to the upside. Probably that's one Monday price action we use. Okay, potential push to the upside. This is a potential point, uh, point of interest favor look at for push to the upside. So this week I don't have any business selling any of these assets. Okay, Euro USD, GP USD, SA USD. I don't have any business selling them unless I see a very strong candle on daily time frame signifying a reversal. Like this one, like this one, like this one, 
then that is when I can believe that, okay, let's go for certain opportunity on this space. Nas 100 buy, we are buying. Of course, this is very good price. Our price is now on discount zone. So if I was to trade, because I'm not going to trade Nas 100 tomorrow, but I, I only trade Nas 100 as uh, all these indices from um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't trade them Monday, Tuesday, okay? Because Monday, Tuesday are the days of, um, Monday, Tuesdays are the days of accumulation. So they gather the liquidity Monday, Tuesday, then when is it Thursday, Friday, they distribute. You can see here, this was Friday price action, okay? This was Friday, this was Thursday, this was Wednesday, then this was Tuesday, this was Monday, then this was Monday. But if you watch for Monday, you see how price started trading to the downside, trading to the downside because they were accumulating the liquidity here. Now, when it was tra trading to the downside, all these are the buy side liquidity that was accumulated. Here you can see from what you can see how from when the price came back and then smashed all this buy side liquidity. If you watch the video I posted recently on how to trade indices, you can see that this is was our entry on Wednesday. Here I told you guys price will come back, take out the buy side the liquidity on London session, and then we'll use this our entry. So every video I post on my YouTube channel, make sure you always watch them because there are a lot of information I'm giving you guys. And and if you're a good student of the market, this is opportunity for you to learn a lot from me because. You may not know, you may not have this opportunity all the time, okay? So as I'm posting it on YouTube, make sure you are grabbing all the information, building up your trading model to prepare you for the future that awaits you as a trader. So this was our entry, and then you can see our price expanded, but the overall target is the liquidity that was engineered last week. Uh, is the liquidity that was engineered on Monday price action, okay? 